Hello everybody, we're back at it again. Got a rain night at work, so I decided to come and partake in some of these activities again. Anyway, what we're doing today is working on this bottom section, which I believe on most PWCs they call them uh, ride plates. And one of my uh, subscribers um, commented in the last video, and he mentioned to me about using the uh, fleece to... Uh, to contour to any of the compound shapes that I have, which I used fleece before to make fiberglass speaker boxes. And I don't know why I never thought about it for the boat, but thanks, uh, Rocket Radio Show 1. How this, well, how I plan on this working is to take the fleece, basically fill up this whole rectangle gap at the bottom of the boat, this whole gap. And pick up the fleece on the bottom, stretch, pull it up, and stretch it over the top of these two um, curved pieces right here, which will have the fleece shaped like a cone going to this point right here, this point, and that focal point over there. So, in theory, when the reverse bucket is dropped, and I decide to turn or what have you, it's going to shoot out the water. It's exiting out this uh, nozzle in right here, going under the fleece back that way. Okay, we got the fleece stretched out, and I put the first coat of resin on it. Just trying to let that cure up. So once this is done curing, then I'll add the fiberglass and, you know, make everything nice and silky smooth. <laughs> uh, finally got this first coat of uh, fiberglass and resin on here and for the most part I'll grade it uh, I give it a C a C C plus um, as far as the shape I love how it came out and how sturdy it is I just got to reinforce it some more on the other side with some more fiberglass I went on ahead and completed putting all of the sheathing pieces like this one this one this top piece all the pieces that we needed in order to take it out for a test no it's not you know completed because i still have this section right here to fill up and side skirts what have you but, but as far as putting this bad boy in some water i wanted to focus on what i have to have first then we come back and you know complete and finalize everything else still have to put um some fiberglass strips right here but yeah let's take a look at the back and see how symmetrical these pieces are that's not half bad, you know. No, it isn't perfect, but that's way better than what I would have done. So, I owe you big time. Rocket Radio Show 1. That's who came up. Well, that's who uh, reminded me that I could use that fleece to uh, compound to these uh, complex shapes. Man, that came out pretty doggone good. So, I ran out of resin and fiberglass. So, next up... And I just come back, and of course, like I've been doing, you know, um, patching up these seams, seal all those up. And once I finish uh, fiberglass in these seams, then I'll go back over the whole boat and just put fiberglass over everything on the exterior. But yeah, not too bad, huh? Excuse my mess. She's coming along real good. And... I'm in the south, south Louisiana, and we've been having a lot of rain lately, so that's how come I've been able to um, get so much work done on this bad boy. So basically, in order to do a float test, all I have to do is just throw this bad boy, well, put some fiberglass on it, and then throw this bad boy in some water. Now, one thing... One thing that I uh, forgot to show you all was that on this this uh, shaft right here, it connects to this. I had to make a little fiberglass cap for that. Nothing important. Just wanted to so you know water don't come from the back of this and f flood the boat. 